The Institute for Accountability says it has laid a complaint against Chief Justice Mohueng Mohueng. The complaint relates to the recent speech by the Chief Justice at the Advocates for Transformation. In his speech, Mohueng questioned critics who complained when a white male candidate was not recommended for appointment to the bench, while those who were appointed were described as executive toys. In a statement, the Black Lawyers Association shunned the criticism levelled uh, against Mokhueng. Joining us now in studio is attorney Lutendo Segogo from the Black Lawyers Association to discuss this matter. Welcome and thank you for joining us thank on you. AM News. Thank you. Tell me, does this complaint by the Institute have any substance? It does not. I'll tell you why. They're saying Mokhueng is... They're saying Mukwen is, is <coughs> sorry. They're saying Mukwen is discriminating against white males, which is not the correct issue, mm -hmm. because all what was saying in that speech was that there should be fair distribution of work, which should be distributed to the black advocates and black attorneys, in as far as briefing patterns are concerned. And to us, we think this attack as a way of trying to stop Mohueng with the transformation of the judiciary, which we believe is doing it very well. Now, some have described the complaint against Mohueng Mohueng as a personal attack. Do you agree with this, then? Yes, we agree. Uh, from the onset, when it was announced that Mohueng is to be interviewed for the position of Chief Justice, Advocate Hoffman has been on his case for all along. Mm. We even believe that he made it his project and priority to see to it that Mohueng does not take the seat, and if he takes the seat, he does not uh, fulfill what he's supposed to do in that seat. Uh, we have examples of other judges and chief justices in the past who made statements on transformation and other policies. Mm -hmm. For instance, the late Chief Justice Pais Lang was very vocal in defense of uh, judges of ACA in the famous case of Jacob Zuma. Mm -hmm. uh, no one came out uh, criticizing him for talking on issues of politics. We also have uh, Judge Cameroon. We, we know how, how passionate he is with the issue of policies surrounding HIV and AIDS. Mm. He, 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 criticized, he criticized a lot uh, President Mbeki on that issue. No one came out and said what he did was wrong. To us, we are saying this issue is not about the, the conduct of Chief Justice Mukwege, but personalities. Mm. The, the ego of uh, Hoffman to see to it that white males continue to be favored as against their black counterparts. And we say this is indeed personal. Now, how damaging is such an accusation to Mukhweng and to the office of the Judicial Services Commission, which he holds? That undermines the office of the Chief Justice as an institution. Mm. And it also puts some doubts on the person of the Chief Justice. And we know for all along that the Office of the Chief Justice is responsible in the development of jurisprudence of a country. And if that institution is undermined by complaints, baseless complaints like this one, the, the outside world will, will doubt, start to doubt our jurisprudence. And as a result, then uh, people will not respect our justice system. And as such, it will be rendered lawlessness in the country. And as such, we find it very disturbing because if people have personal scores to settle, they must do it on their personal mm. life, not use our system and the democracy, which we fought so much to attain. Now, the Black Lawyers Association described the Institute for Accountability's complaint as creeping abuse of uh, processes. Can you explain this further? Yes. Um, we, we all know that in institutions, there should be conduct, a way people should conduct themselves. It's the same with judges. They're expected to live to a certain standard. And if they do not reach or they do not live to that standard, or if they misbehave or they commit misconduct, they must be taken to tasks, they must answer questions. If necessary, they must be disciplined. But here, that process which is set in order to see to it that judges behave themselves well, it is now being abused in order for Advocate Hoffman to settle his course with the Chief Justice. And, the, and that's why I say this is an abuse of power and it is in a way contentious to us. We would not agree with it and we, we reject it with the seriousness it deserves. Um, that was 
Uh, Attorney Lutendo Sigogo, thank you very much for joining us here um, at AM News from the Black Lawyers Association on that matter. The Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights has called on the United Nations Security Council to consider the deployment of a large international force to protect civilians in the central